and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley and today I'm going to show you how I flipped a Facebook Marketplace hutch into my DIY coffee bar. If you've been following my recent videos, you've probably seen this coffee bar because I have taken you along with me as I decorated it for every season or every holiday. So now I'm going to show you what it looked like before the final product. So I'm going to take you through step by step and show you exactly how I turned it into what it is today. First, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that little notification bell, and in the drop down menu, click all so you you're notified about all notifications. I upload videos a couple times a month and I have a lot of great ideas and a lot of content coming your way so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned. All right, so now we're going to get started into turning a Facebook find into my DIY coffee bar. Okay, so this is a little hutch that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace for $50, and I didn't think that was bad at all. It's the cherry wood, which is kind of the wood that I've been following through on all of my uh, furniture because my great grandmother's table's cherry, and so I kind of just based everything off of that. So here's the plan. So I'm gonna use this bottom part. This, this does come apart, the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna use this bottom part right here for my coffee nook. I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna change the little feet, um, the knobs on it, and then I'm gonna distress it. It just so happened, I was having a really hard time trying to find a little buffet or sideboard that would fit in my space, and this one, this piece was supposed to go in my dining room, and then we, my mom and I kind of thought, you know, hey, why don't we just fix this up to be the coffee nook, and then it can just go in the kitchen. So um, I thought for 50 bucks, we're gonna paint this, and it's gonna look gorgeous. So here is the before. Sorry, we're in the garage. You can see it looks like Ashley furniture in here. Oh, well, I guess it kind of is. <laughs> All right, so here is the before, and then um, in a little bit, we will show you the after. All right, so of course the first thing we had to do was clean it really, really well. So my mom just took some Dawn dish soap and some warm water and a rag and she is scrubbing it. It was kind of grimy, like kind of greasy and you'll see a close up here in a minute of the difference. But she is, I tasked her with this job because she's just really good at detail. Like she's just better at this than I am. So, um, but now you can see there was like a white like foam or not foam film white film you can see that's kind of coming off of there so it definitely needed to be cleaned so I'm gonna apologize ahead of time I lost the footage of us taking off all the doors and the drawer and actually painting the hutch itself um, here is the paint I used. It's called chiffon cream and I did get it from Walmart It is the chalked paint and we did give it two coats. I don't know where that footage went I do apologize um, But you're gonna see what it looks like after in just a second But just know that we did use that paint and we did two coats of that All right, so here's the bottom of that hutch that I'm actually gonna use as like a little sideboard and we did go ahead and paint it with that chiffon cream and I absolutely love the color I think it's gonna match really well with my kitchen table <laughs> of course I don't know that right now because it's in storage so I'm really going by memory and pictures so I yeah like I said I love this so the top of that was all this wood right here my mom sanded it down really well and now we're going to stain it but first before we stain it, we have to put wood conditioner on it. So we're gonna use this Min Wax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner. Um, all the YouTube videos, <laughs> YouTube, what a wonderful resource, right? Um, all the YouTube videos said to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then let that dry the amount of time and then we're going to stain it. We're gonna stain it dark walnut. I'm super excited here, I'll show you. I really wanted a dark color, so that is the color we're going with, 
it has little specks of paint on it <laughs> but um, and then I, I am gonna kind of distress it a little bit too so yep that's what we're gonna do all right let's go now before I put the wood conditioner on I did decide to go ahead and distress it first so I'm just gonna use a couple different methods here and I got these ideas from design to the nines uh, Natalie over there at her channel and she was distressing some shelves and I really loved what she was doing so basically she's just using whatever she has and you can see I'm just taking this hammer and I'm just kind of going back and forth I'm using both ends of it I took a really uh, big nail with big threads and I hammered that on so I'm just like really making some big dents in it um, you know that I love things to look distressed and I am going around the edges and just basically just beating it <laughs> so um, and obviously this part is really easy now I did want to say this at the very beginning I have never I have never done this before I am NOT a professional furniture flipper you may be watching going Ashley what are you doing that you're not even doing it right this is just what I did okay and I thought it turned out really amazing but I'm not I'm just showing you the process I'm not trying to give advice or anything but this is just what my mom and I did so after we got it all distressed you can see my little assistant there helped out then we went in with that wood conditioner and now if I remember correctly the trick to this is you don't want to layer it you just want to go and even brush strokes and try not to layer over like the paint that you already have same with stain I believe that is um, the trick to that now mind you we created this piece a year ago so I'm literally going off of memory so um, but yeah so we just took or my mom just took a simple foam brush and she is just conditioning it all right so this is after we put the conditioner on and look at that distressing that's exactly what I wanted basically I just beat it as you saw so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the dark walnut stain and I'm super excited and that should bring these little nicks out too so let's get to staining so like I said earlier I am using the mind mind wax wood finish in the color dark walnut I honestly went between this and Jacobian but Ultimately, I think I liked the dark walnut a little better. So I am just kind of staining this again This is the first time I had ever stained anything like for real. I mean <laughs> Besides like my little DIYs and using like the Waverly antique wax. This is the first I this opened like a whole new world to me here. So um, And honestly, I just you learned from YouTube. I just watched a bunch of videos I'm more of a visual learner. So, you know, it helped me to watch a bunch of videos and so that's what that's what I did and so now I'm just going through and I'm just staining it and I believe I did two coats but it just kind of depends on how dark you want your stain if you like this shade after it dries then you can keep it if you want it a little darker then you can do it one more time So this is after one coat of the dark walnut. I, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is gorgeous. Now I might go over it one more time because I would like to darken it up just a little bit. But basically, I'm gonna make shelves that match this too to go over my coffee bar. But I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I love it. And you guys, it was so easy to do. Now, this is the first time I stain. Rookie mistake, I forgot to put on gloves. So before anybody comments, I know I need to put on gloves. I think I was just so excited to just do it. I totally forgot, but it wasn't bad. It came out. I mean, it's still like in my, but you know, I'm used to having paint on my hands. So anyway, 
There we go, after the first coat. We'll check in later. Okay, so now we're gonna jump to the hardware that I actually took off this piece. And I am actually painting those four hinges up in the left-hand corner with this um, all-in-one oil rubbed bronze paint. Now for the knobs, I did go ahead and just order those off of Amazon. This was a one pack, so I did have to order four of these, but the knobs on there originally were wood, and I just felt better with some actual like oil rub bronze, actual cabinet wood hardware. So that's just what I decided to do. These were very inexpensive, and of course, really easy to put on. So after my the little coffee nook it, itself dried now it's time to distress this part and all i did was take some sandpaper and just go in random spots and just sand it that's all i did you'll get a better look um in just a second but i did this all over the nook itself and then the the doors and the drawer too so i just took some really fine grit sandpaper and just let it have it. <laughs> so now after all that's done, it is now time to put the hardware back on. So that's what I'm doing here. So I just put the little hinges on the doors and then attach the doors back to the coffee nook. And again, that's super, super easy. Now you can get a better idea of all the distressing here. Now I did wait till I got the doors on to distress the doors so I can see them both together and I can kind of judge where I wanted to sand. So that is an option you can do too. And then after that, it's just time to stick the drawer back in. So that was, and you, now I didn't even worry about the insides of this. It, it, I mean, that's where my K cups are and everything. Why bother? I, I didn't even worry about it, but that's it. That completed this coffee bar. Now we did go over the top um, stain with a varnish. Sorry, I don't have the footage, but that was just kind of to protect, you know, of course my top. But I just loved all the detail in this piece. It looks so high end. And that chiffon cream color, that is my color. In fact, uh, we are about to paint my kitchen cabinets and we found a color almost exactly like that that we're gonna use. Of course, I have to use a different you know, cabinet paint for that for kitchens. So we found a color almost exactly like that. So it's all gonna tie in with the coffee nook and the kitchen cabinets. So it's all gonna flow really well since it'll all tie in. So after this, I'm gonna show you how I created the shelves. This is what I get a ton of questions on. Everyone always asks me where I get the shelves that I have on my coffee nook or where I got them. And I just have to reply with, I'm really sorry, but I made them. And so that's kind of what brought on this video because everyone kept asking me about those shelves. So I'm gonna take you through step by step, but, but to be honest, it's pretty much the same thing that I just did, but here we go. Here are the infamous coffee bar shelves. All right, guys, so now that the bottom part of my coffee nook is finished, I am gonna attempt <laughs> to make my own shelves. So I went to Lowe's, I got this board, and I had them cut it down to two 34-inch pieces. Now, you're probably looking at it going, oh my gosh, it's, it's bad. <laughs> um, Honestly, I love that look, like all of these little knots. I really wanted a distressed board. I just love that look. In fact, like right here, this little notch and this little notch, like I would put that on the front. Now I am gonna distress it more, of course, too. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sand them down. I am gonna round off the edges. I'm going to put the wood conditioner on and then I'm gonna use that same, same stain that I used on my coffee nook and I'm gonna stain these. So I've never done this before. I am just attempting it, but I really loved the this piece. And the best part, technically, now there's like, this was 20 feet, so I have like a whole nother board, you know, that we didn't even get cut down. But um, the best part was, was technically, this was damaged. So I got 50% off, you guys. I got this 20 foot piece for $5 and they cut it for me to two 34 inch pieces. So I'm gonna attempt to do this. So let's 
get to sanding. <laughs> All right, so like I said, the first step is to sand both of these pieces down. Now, there was already nicks and dents in these pieces of wood, so, but like I said, that's what I went there for. Actually, funny story, my dad was with me when I went, and I went up to the wood guy, and I said, I want, like, your little orphan piece of wood. <laughs> like, I want the one that nobody wants. I want the one that has, that's so beat up, and my dad was mortified, and he's like, Ashley, most people don't want that. <laughs> Most people want the exact opposite. They go in there looking for the best piece of wood. And I said, well, that's not the style right now. So that's not what I want. But anyways, I, I taught them that, you know, you can think outside of the box sometimes. So here I'm showing you how I rounded off the edges. And basically, I just took my sandpaper and I just rounded it off. I just went in like a rounded um, motion. And I did that on all four corners of each one of my boards. And then I'm just going to make sure this is really nice and smooth because after that we are going to distress it. But I wanted to get any splinters out and, you know, stuff like that. And of course, um, I had to pay attention to the rounded edges as well. All right, so I went through and I sanded both of my boards and I also rounded out the edges. So my assistant and I are gonna just distress these boards and we're just going to, what are we gonna do to them? Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here, you do this board, okay? Okay. All right, now do this one. All right, let's get to work. So just like the other, um, or the coffee bar itself, we're just gonna go through and beat up these pieces of wood. And you can see I'm using a screwdriver, just creating dents. Um, my daughter's using a hammer and just, you know, hitting it. And then I'm gonna go in with that nail again and, you know, just you know hammer on some of those threads. So I really, of course, loved how this came out. And like I stated earlier, you know, the part of the wood where it was already beat up, that's going to be my front part because I wanted to show the distressing and the, the beat up part of the wood. So, um, but yeah, I really loved, <laughs> this was a good way to get all your aggression out, I have to say. <laughs> so this was fun. This is your friendly reminder that if you love what you see so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Not only does it help my channel to grow, but it tells YouTube you love what you see and you want to see more. So smash that like button. So after all my distressing was complete, I went ahead and sanded it lightly down one more time and now I'm going to go ahead and put the wood conditioner on it just like we did with the other piece. You know, like I said, this is just pretty much repetitive um, of what I did with the coffee nook itself and that was good practice for me too because basically when it came to this, I knew exactly what I was doing. So, well, at least I think so. <laughs> I mean, it came out good so I guess I knew what I was doing. So yeah, so I'm just going through and I'm just putting the wood conditioner on both of these boards and I did do the front and the back and the sides as well.
after the wood conditioner was dried it's now time for my favorite part the stain and I'm, I just used the same stain as before I did the min wax um, dark walnut and again I'm just going through and I'm gonna paint the entire board and I did give this two coats in fact I might have actually given these three coats because they weren't showing up as dark as the coffee bar so it was between two or three coats but like I said it's totally up to you and what you like if you like it after one coat then just leave it but the darker you want it the more coats you have to put on so I just went through and stained both of my boards and this is what really brought out those knots the dents and all the distressing and I was obsessed Now to hang my shelves, this is the hardware I used. I did get it off of Amazon, and uh, it's a three-fourths gas pipe shelf bracket, six inch, <laughs> four piece. And um, this, I just took a screenshot, so this is current day what it costs. I don't know what I paid for it a year ago. Now I did not get any footage of us hanging um, all of our stuff because we had just moved in, but here, here you go, I'm showing you how it's hung super easy you just use all the hardware and all the pieces that came with it make sure to use your level now even still these are not level because my boards are not level so but that's okay I mean nothing's gonna fall off and then I always get at questions about this piece this actually came from Hobby Lobby and they are in the stores currently so you could pick one up but wait till they're 50% off like the wall decor wait until you know they go on sale but I just went ahead and added that to the bottom so here is a look at the before piece again, just your very outdated oak or cherry or whatever you're going to call it. And here's what it looks like now. What do you think? And here is the whole coffee bar all put together with the shelves, the hooks from Hobby Lobby, and the coffee bar itself. And I absolutely love how this area came out. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's just a little glimpse into how I created that. Again, I am not a professional, but I thought because I received so many questions about it, I would go ahead and throw together a video that, that kind of showed you and took you through the steps of what we did not a professional but what i did and hey i think it turned out great i would love to hear your comments about it down below anyways until i see you again i will craft or diy with you soon bye